Tectonic plates are large segments of the Earth's crust that move slowly. Suppose that one such plate has an average speed of 4 centimeters per year. What distance does it move in one second at this speed? Okay, so uh, they're asking us to calculate a distance uh, per time. And they don't give us the units that we need to calculate for distance, so I'm just going to assume that we can answer uh, the distance in centimeters. All right, so let me write down what I'm given. So we have 4.0 uh, 4 centimeters per year, per one year that is. Um, not one yard, but one year. <laughs> and this is the speed at which the tectonic plate is moving. So what we want to do is we want to try to find the distance. So I'll put a little question mark with a little, with a D there. Um, so I want to find the distance that this uh, tectonic plate travels in one second or AKA per one second. So uh, basically what I can do here is I can convert, if, we, if we're looking at how this is set up, I can take the year value and convert that into seconds. Okay, what that then uh, would allow me to do is that would then allow me to calculate the centimeters that this tectonic plate would be uh, moving per second. All right, so let's, let's give that a shot. So step one here, let's take one year and convert that into seconds. So let's write down what we're given one year. And we're gonna write year on the bottom. I have no idea how many seconds there are in a year, but I do know, um, let's say how many days there are. So 365 days. So I can put that conversion in the numerator. Um, I notice I did the yard thing again. I don't know, I'm not really sure why I'm <laughs> confusing years with yards. Uh, I think that's because I just did a problem with yards. Anyway, um, so there in one year, there are 365 days, so the years would cancel. That would tell me how many days there are. I know some of you might be saying, well, there's really 365 and a quarter days. That's true. Just going to simplify it here. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put days in the denominator here uh, because I need to get rid of it. And I know the relationship between uh, days and, let's say, hours, right? I know how many hours there are in a day. There's 24 hours in one day. So I'm getting closer to seconds. I'm getting smaller, right? Uh, now I'm going to put hours on the bottom. And I don't quite know the relationship to seconds yet, but I do know the relationship between minutes and hours. There's 60 minutes in an hour. So I got rid of hours. And now I can put the minutes on the bottom, seconds on the top. And there's 60 seconds in a minute. And it's cancel. And finally, I can find the value. So 365 times 24 times 60 times 60 gives us a total of a whopping 3.15 times 10 raised to the, I've got to count this one out actually, seven it looks like, to the seven uh, seconds. Okay. So that's how many seconds there, would, uh, there are in a year. Okay, great. Now remember, this tectonic plate is going to move four centimeters, right, per year. So if I want to find out uh, how far this tectonic plate will travel per second, what I can do now in step two is I can take my four centimeter value and then divide it by the seconds that I found. So 3.15 times 10 to the seven seconds. Okay, ah, I don't know if you hear my little guy crying in the background, but uh, it must be bedtime. <laughs> so let's take the four uh, centimeters and divide it by 3.15 uh, raised to the seven. Okay, so that gives me a value of 1.3 approximately times 10 to the negative seven uh, centimeters per second. And that should make sense, right? I mean, if this tectonic plate is going to travel four centimeters in a whole year, then it should be traveling a very small fraction of centimeters in one second. So this would be the answer to part A. And now it asks us, okay, so that's A, and then it asks us now to find its speed in kilometers per million years. Okay, so basically what I want to do is I want to now, uh, let me write down over here, I'll write part two, or this is really step B, right? So now what I'm going to be thinking about is I'm given the value again of four centimeters per one year. 
right? And now what I need to do is I need to find the speed in kilometers. So kilometers per million years. Okay, so three step process. Right, it's gonna be slightly different than the uh, processes we usually do. First, let's take the centimeters and convert it into kilometers. Okay, let's do that first here. So part one, so 4.0 centimeters, convert that into kilometers. So I'm gonna write that down here, 4.0 centimeters, times I'm gonna write centimeters in, on the, uh, in the denominator, meters on the top. I know there's 100 centimeters in a meter, so that's great. And then the re next relationship would be meters on the bottom, kilometers on the top, because I know that relationship. So it's one kilometer for every thousand meters. So that cancels, right? So now I'm gonna take four, divide it by 100, and then divide it again by 1,000. So this comes out to be four times 10 to the minus five uh, kilometers. So now let's think. So this is basically how far it travels, right? Four times 10 to the minus five kilometers in one year. Okay, so this value is really still per year because I didn't, I didn't convert the year value. But I don't wanna know the kilometers per year. I wanna know the kilometers per million years. So again, if it travels four times 10 to the minus five kilometers in a single year, then what I can do is I can simply take this kilometer value and multiply it by one million, and that will now give me the total um, distance traveled, right, per million years, okay? So now let's take the 4.5, uh, excuse me, not the four, point, the four times 10 to the minus five and multiply that by 1 million. Okay, and it comes out to be a value of 40. So it travels 40 kilometers per million years. And that would be the final answer for letter B. And this should make intuitive sense, right? Going back, just double checking. If it travels four centimeters in a single year, right, then over a million years, which is a long time, it should travel about 40 kilometers. It does make intuitive sense. So we're, we're on the right track. Remember guys, if this video helps you out, please subscribe. Thank you.